Okay, so the one thing we as videographers that scared about is the noise in our videos. Although we can fix it using the ISO of our camera, there are some times where we just have to have some amount of noise in our videos. And those are the moments which are very irritating and those are the moments which I don't like at all. So in this particular video, I'm going to show this particular plugin which is very fast and very efficient and it's available for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro and it is a paid plugin so you guys need to buy it but it is one of the most efficient plugins for reducing noise in your videos and the best thing is it is very fast in terms of rendering and moreover it is very user friendly which means anyone who is just a novice or just a beginner in editing can use this particular plugin and can remove noise in their videos without the hassle of any technical stuff so with that being said this is crumple pops video denoiser and this costs around $99 on the internet and you need to download this particular app called FactoryFX Pro to download this particular plugin. So this is how you download it and now I'm going to show how to just reduce the noise using this particular plugin. I'm going to show this in Final Cut Pro but you can do this in Premiere Pro as well. The process is exactly the same. So with that being said, what's up guys, Special Sammy here. Well that's my new video. I hope you guys are having a great day. With that being said, let's just start it. So this is the video which I have taken. This is the stock footage from Rian Nangal. So I'll just link him down below so that you guys can visit his channel. You guys must already be knowing him. And this is a clip which is taken in the night time which has lots of noise in it. You guys can see all the noise in the video. Like from all the portions. You can see all the noise there. So now what you need to do is you need to go to the effects panel in Final Cut Pro and search for Crumple Pop Video Denoiser. And in Premiere Pro, you need to go to the Effects panel, Effects and Presets panel and search in Crumple Pop and then you will already see Crumple Pop Video Denoiser already there. So in either of the cases, the process is exactly the same. Now back to Final Cut Pro. Just drag the Video Denoiser onto this clip. And then in the Effects panel, you are going to see these particular options. In the Effects Control panel, while in Premiere Pro also in the Effects Control panel, you are going to see exactly the same options. And you can already see that the noise in the video is already reduced by a lot. Now if I just zoom in, you guys can see the reduction in the noise and it is very efficient because it is very fast in rendering. So which means that if you have a slow computer, this plugin will work just as fine. So you can see the reduction in the noise. There is not much reduction because it is at the fast render right now. But there is a good amount of reduction without the loss of any details in the highlights and the shadows. And you can just modify the settings here as well. If you want to add a custom setting to your noise, you can also add it here like you can change the noise level, you can change the temporal radius, you can just sharpen the image as well. There are other options such as block size, mode, channel, sharpen, noise margin. You can play with all of them and see which one fits best for you. But in my case, the fastest render, the default one is the best one in my opinion because it is like the fastest and it is a totally automated process. Now you know to just show an example, just let me cut this particular clip and show it on the right hand side and just hide the other ones so that I can save some time on the preview. Now if I change the rendering quality to highest quality then you will see a lot of reduction in the shadows and the highlights and in the noise reduction as well. And this is by far the best one but this will definitely take some time in rendering because this is a very high standard effect applied to your video. So it will definitely take some time to render. So in my opinion just go for the faster render quality because it is pretty efficient and it is like it keeps all the details in the shadows and highlights very accurate while in the highest quality the noise reduction is done by a lot but there is some amount of softening also in the whole video so i will suggest to go for the faster render because it is by far i feel the best one it just keeps all the details as well so now i'm going to just compare and contrast all the three settings like the first one is without any plugin the second one is with this plugin at the fastest render quality and the third one is at the highest render quality. So this is how this effect looks. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video then do hit the thumbs up button. And if you 
want more such tutorials then do hit the subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think with that being said thank you so much